Hello, everybody. This is Bob Hammerstone back from our weekly live stream. If you're new to the channel, feel free to thumbs up, subscribe, hit that little a little bell, and you'll receive a little buzz from time to time to notify you <laughs> when old Bob is is live streaming or dropping his hot vlogs and whatnot. Anyways, hey, life is good, right? I hope everybody is well very well because tonight is a good night i just got back from an 80 minute run endurance run i'm doing a lot of training we're trying to reach some goals we're going to talk about that maybe later talk about other people's goals too maybe if you like to talk in the chat so tonight though without further ado what is on our agenda nest golf and possibly nest volleyball but what we got loaded up right now is nest golf Shall we jump in? Do a little stroking at a medium pace. If you know what I'm talking about. Golf strokes. Of course. I'd like to give a shout out to subscribers. Kit Can. Number one subscriber in the world. If if Kit Can is a subscriber to you, you're the luckiest person in the world. And Faux Craven Bear. A, uh, he's, he's cool. I would say Viking Bro. <laughs> he is he's a magical man check out he has a youtube channel check it out uh anyways shall, shall we start i'm just getting stuff set up you know me it takes a it takes a minute here just getting everything going and here we go oh i lied here we go everything was supposed to be started so, let's just make sure that everything is still how it's supposed to be. It is. So, I hate technical things, don't you? Okay. <laughs> damn, damn it is. Okay, here we go. We're getting it. What if I... Could Hey, that was a sound. I heard a sound. That worked. Hey, we're playing. I can't believe that worked. Hey, pound the controller. It does work. Oh, great. We're doing, we're doing a uh, one wood. I got to get the old chat window open here before we start going. Oh, folk Raven Bear, dude. Fo Bro fist. Kabaya. And he got kind of like a uh, Kirby face, too. Appreciate the little smiley doe face. Smiley doe face back to you, Folk Raven Bear. Yeah. Hey, and by the way, I'm going to get those recordings for you right after this. I'm a busy guy, you know, like we all are. Hey, thanks for stopping by, though. A genuine thank you. <laughs> and I am a, a golf master, by the way. Back to the golf. Just to tell y'all. I got the skills to play the bills. It might take me a second to get the groove. Don't don't pay attention to that. So we're gonna have to obviously hit the sandwich out of that. It's bad. Uh... So folk Raven Bear actually uh, appreciates another golf game. He made sure to tweet tweet that to me. Check him out on Twitter, by the way, folk Raven Bear. I don't know his Twitter handle off the uh, top of my head. It's hard to talk and play games sometimes, but I'm going to get it here. All right. I hope everybody's having a great night. This is uh, this game was actually made in 1984. It came out in 1984. It was one of the original black box games for Nintendo. I think high up in the irons, like maybe like an eight iron, huh? Oh, that was close. I remember this was one of the first games that I actually received when I, I not me personally, but my family received when um, I was younger. Let's do a little sandwich action. Or maybe we could do a little ah, power wedge might be too much. Let's do a little. Oh, perfect. Here we go. And then we follow the little carrots. The little carrots point the slope of the green. Here we go. And 
This is always the tough part. Oh, and we'll probably roll right out of there. That's the downfall of this game is probably the putting. It is quite difficult. And if you're just joining, make sure you give that thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm spread the love. Spread the golf love. Let's just go. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, oh yeah. When I said I was good, I think I am. I could probably beat a lot of folks. So just remember that. Yes. Let me make sure I type hello to the chat here. So hello, chat. And if you're just joining the chat, make sure you, if you feel like chatting, chat about whatever you like. Hello, chat. Back to this. <laughs> oh. I literally just got done with an 80-minute endurance run. I have some goals for this summer. I am on the comeback trail, as you say. Oh, that was a huge mistake. <laughs> and we almost made it anyways. I saw right at the last moment. I need to stop bullshitting around. Let's do this here. Let's uh, let's go with a 8 iron. No, 7 iron. 8. On the green. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Folk Raven Bear, where is this guy? He left. I think he probably got some more important things to do. The man is a very busy mage. <laughs> I've said too much. Damn, this game. No, actually, it's pretty fun. It is one of the best golf simulators ever made, and it's from 1984, ladies and gentlemen. One's original black box games. I actually got the black box behind me somewhere in the the old Nintendo collection. Oh, this is a fun one. Okay, wind is zero miles per hour. So let's do what actually what three. Let's do the old three wood. Wow, perfect power shot. Let's do it. Hmm, that was pretty close. Oh, very close. Let's, let's do the old putt. The old puttery. They should make a Flintstones golf. For some reason, I think that'd be really fun. Flintstones. What games has everybody been playing? You know, I've actually been playing Animal Crossing New Leaf. And let me tell you, that game is so fun. Oh, it went right over the dang hole. And it makes me, it makes me want... Like an Animal Crossing game, but like, but based in the Skyrim universe, you know, and make it more like adult themed, Skyrim themed, of course. That's what I mean. Oh, I think that would be an awesome, awesome game. Make it a, a massive online multiplayer too. That would be double bogey. We're doing better, folks. That's what we're talking about. Onward and upward, as they say. Magic. Who here believes in magic? I personally do. Maybe not sawing people in half, no. But I think magic is possible. I've seen magic. Let's see, let's do a... Seven. Okay, and let's... So the wind is going southwest. This is where we need to slice it, probably. And so... Let's slice it a little right. Let's try to do it here. Oh. Birdie try, baby. How you like that? How you like me now? Huh? My third grade teacher. Mrs. Johnson, you said I was going to be a loser. Now look at me now, Mrs. Johnson. I am not no loser. Jesus. She saw me a couple months ago going through the trash. She made sure to remind me. She's like, but I'm, I told you you were going to be a loser. 
I said, Mrs. Johnson, what you know? Now look at your soul. Mrs. Johnson. Dude, way too much power. Roll back. Oh, roll back. I'm sure that's a rap song. This be a Walmart commercial. Oh, roll back. Oh, roll back the prices. There's too many cords hanging around here. That was a good shot, ladies and gentlemen. That was a birdie try. Here we go. I want to make sure our stream health is healthy. We got one person. That's me. Most important person in the world. All right, here we go. Golf. You know, I knew I was risking uh, people showing up because it is golf. I know. Let's actually uh, hook it a little bit, huh? Perfect. So, oh, we need to get you golf power. Dude, I got the ultimate golf power. Don't diss the Ness Golf. FRB. Do not do it, bro. We're going to have problems. Because this is one of the best games ever made. I'm telling you. I would kick your butt. Oh, that was totally off. Totally off. Oh, t not too bad. I've never been golfing. Actually, I have been golfing. I never actually golfed like. <laughs> I've done mostly like just like practicing, like swinging, <laughs> and I get the golf range. But I've never actually played holes. I actually because I took a. What the hell am I? I took a golf class in high school, and it was mostly a joke. Maybe if I can, I can putt it that far. <laughs> da! Did I get to the green? No, I didn't. I was probably just joking right there. Aside from mini golf, but still, golf games tend to be fun. Yes. You know the funnest golf games? Uh, I like Nintendo Wii Resort. Or, yeah, I think so. That's the one. It has golf anyways. And Oh, crap. I wasn't paying attention. But that game is the funnest golf game with the motion controls. Kapaya! That game is fun. I've been waiting for a Nintendo Switch. I got a Nintendo Switch. I got... Yeah, I've got it. I got it, like, I don't know, about two... Two years ago. Right! All right. No! Right around when it came out. It's maybe half a year after, so... I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyways, um... Yeah, it's missing a good golf game. I'm kind of pissed off, man. All right, this is a good one. We gotta read the win, ladies and gentlemen. Clearly, you won't be kicking my butt at this game. Hmm. I'm just warming up there, Folk Raven Bear. So, hey. And I'm just I'm just appreciating you're here. Thanks for being here. I Man. You can talk all the crap you want. Because we all know in real life, I would beat the, the behind in golf. And it's cool. It's cool. I mean, come on. I got the skills. We know. All right. 13. So we're going we're to have to slice it a little bit. So I'm going to hit it a little right of the power there. Kadow! Perfect. Did you see that, Folk Raven Bear? Hmm? When Bob takes his time, he does all right. Ah. Who, who got the power now? All right. This one's going to be tough, though. Okay, because the wind's in our face. So I'm gonna slice it a little on the on the left, to the left of the power. Oh, that was much too left, but it might be enough. Still not bad, still not bad. See, I like this golf game because it's all about slicing the ball correctly. It makes it fun. Remember, it was made in 1984. I used to play PGA Tour 2 on Game Gear. So much fun. You had a Game Gear back in the day. You lucky sob. Unless this was recently. Still, you lucky SOB. Yeah. PJ Tour 2. I think I actually have a golf game on Sega Game Gear, even though I don't have a Game Gear. Got it loose. Got it loose. No, actually, I think I sold it. It's gone, actually. I did a, a couple big lots on eBay, and it was awesome. I'm a small-time eBayer, Folk Raven Bear. Do you sell anything on eBay, Folk Rainbow? I sell things. Some things. 
pretty small. Some sometimes more than others. For a while, I was selling video games on on uh, eBay. I've also sold like you know things I find at uh, Goodwill, uh, stuff like that. Bow yeah, yeah. Why? Folk Raven Bear responds. Why do you think I love the Master System so much? It's pretty much the same as the Game Gear. Yeah, yeah, that is true. That is true. Yeah, the Game Gear is pretty sweet, man. I mean, the screen. Today's standards is, you know, it's it's uh, has a little to to be desired. Wind southeast, three miles per hour. Okay, I say let's just slice it. Oh, perfect shot. See that. Yeah, eBay is is pretty fun. You know, you really gotta. I haven't really had that many bad experiences. I'm, I've actually have like four hundred positive reviews on my account. Four hundred, no, actually like four more than that, like four thirty or something positive reviews on my account, and uh, that's just positive reviews. So, and that's not even that many people actually leave reviews. So. I've done a little selling. I've done a little selling. It's it can be it can be pretty fun, lucrative at times. No joke. Let's do a one. Oh yeah. Oh, what should, what should we do? Four. Let's do a four, and we're gonna slice it on the little little right of the power. Right there. Right, yeah. Perfect. Oh, a little too far, but it was close. Okay, let's uh, we're we're getting in the grooves, ladies, and and men. This is the tough one. Should we putt it? How we how do we get it there? Right, let let's do a little sandwich action. Has to go like. Oh, 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 oh. did you see that? Crazy. Watch, I'm gonna miss it somehow. Oh, we made it. That was par. We got par. We're doing pretty good. I got the expensive Mickey Mouse game for a good deal on eBay, and that belt pouch you see in some of my videos, with the fox face on it, was also an eBay find. Yeah, yeah. eBay is good for that kind of stuff. eBay is also good for anything, not anything, but uh, getting things from China. Because Ch Chinese shipping is subsidized by the Chinese government. So they really don't really have to pay shipping the Chinese. It's like, it's almost free for them to ship things. And so you can get things from Ch China, you know, for a couple bucks. They'll ship it all the way here from China. I've gotten some pretty cool things. I've gotten a cool skull I use in ceremonies. One, one wood, and it's going four. Okay, the wind is going uh, east at 14 miles per hour. <laughs> That's going pretty fast there. Okay, yeah. Folk Raven Bear says, um, I'd have missed that putt. Yeah, that's what separates the masters. Yep, so many Famicom bootlegs. Yeah. You know, one time I got off Craigslist, that Famicom kind of reminds me of, I got a Super Famicom one time off of Craigslist. I had it for a while, too. I got it. It was boxed. It was actually boxed. It was like mint in box. Super Famicom I got off Craigslist for 50 bucks and it actually had the receipt and it was it was bought in Japan of course it's a super fan it had like the Japanese receipt and how much was paid like yen or whatever and it had it had it all and I sold it on eBay yeah I made a, I more than doubled my money on a, a shipping killed me of course shipping that sucker you know it was it was cool man super Famicom you have so many Famicom bootlegs all right, back to the the game. Too much. I smoked some of that uh, that wizard, the wizard tobacco. <laughs> if that makes sense. the tobacco of wizards, which brings you powers, medicinal powers. All right. I don't. Okay, what are we doing? Taboom. 
Yes, lines it up perfectly. All right, where are we at? All right. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. We're going to have to hit to the right, the little power mark there. Cow! Maybe not that much right, but it might work. Nope. Nope, it didn't. All right, I'm going to have to hit the my shock collar that I have around my waist to punish myself. It's something I do. I'm trying to get better at gaming, ladies and gentlemen, for you. So if you have a sick, faint, weak summit, please look away. I'm going to press now. All right. Whew, I won't make that mistake again. All right. Dang, I don't even know what to do. Let's try to do a shorter shot so we don't F it up, huh? The end. Kadoosh. Perfect. We'll just do another one of those little bloopers. Let's do your five. Yeah, perfect. Dude, Folk Raven Bear, I'm not joking, man. Like, I got that from China as well. They shipped it over. It's like a shock. Shocker, man, and you put it on your body, and it's like it's like Ninja, you know, Ninja the gamer. He got so good because he wears one of those, and it makes him perfect. He's that's why he's so good at gaming. I read that, and so uh, I read that on the internet. So I've been doing that too, and you can tell by the skills, I'm getting better. So, anyways, Chinese magic. Oh, geez, five. That was a pretty good shot. Oh, I thought I was in green. But anyways, it was still a pretty good shot. Because look at the wind. You know, the wind is just... 14 miles per hour. Jesus. Let's hit it. Just like this. Whoa. Not... not Could have been better. But still pretty good. All right. Let's knock this. Here we go. No. Oh. God, I was going to the grocery store the other day. You know, I'm looking at like soups or some crap. I don't know. And a lady says, uh, "Let me. I'm gonna sneak past you." She's like, and then she like actually acts like she, you know, she like goes past me. And you know, I, then I was thinking, you know, that's a very common th thing that people do. Is like, hey, let me sneak past you, and then they actually do it. And it's just like, when they say it, it's just like, how are you sneaking? You know, I know you're there, so now it's just awkward because I got to act like I don't see you or something. I don't under I don't understand that, that saying and why people say it because I find it very confusing because there's nothing sneaky about saying, you know, telling me you're sneaking. You see sneaking once you tell me. Anyways, so I'm a nitpicker like that. All right, is it wind? The the wind gods? What is the Greek wind god? Who knows? Okay. Pow, perfect shot. But anyways, he's giving us a break. For God, for Zeus's sake. For Zeus's sake. Thank you, Zeus. All right, let's not use the one wood like I had before. Let's use a little, the old putter. Boom. <laughs> Oh, snap. That was close. Oh, they couldn't have gave it to me. Come on. Hey, that was a par in your face, Folk Raven Bear. In your face. In a good way, though. Not in a bad way. I don't want you. I don't want your face to get hurt in any way. You know, that was more like a... Ah. Yeah. Yeah. All right, one. Okay, to the, to the northwest... Oh, geez. So I need to hit it to a little left of the power. Perfect. I say we shrink it up to the old three wood. No, let's do four wood. Oh, no, let's do that one iron. Oh, perfect. Um, let's just do it uh, straight on. Or Oh, crap. Ew, that was way too far. What the hell? I should fire my caddy. That son of a... That SOB. 
Last time you caddy, get the hell out of here. There's a god for each wind and feel milth. But zi- Ziffers is probably the most famous. I probably did not pronounce that correctly, and I probably sound like I'm handicapped right now, which I am. Is that made low sense to me? <laughs> but I am going to try to look that up later, so I do sp- sound smart. Zephyrius, god of the west wind. That makes more sense. I hope I pronounced that correctly. What's I probably did. Thank you, good sir, for clarifying that. I appreciate it. Zephyrius. Zephyrius. Why do you mock me? All right. Oh, he heard me. Zephyrius. The wise, your ears hear everything. What are we doing right now, by the way? That's what happens when she's... I'm going to drink some water, by the way. I feel like, I feel like I'm in a loony bin right now. I'm going to get away from the microphone so no one hears my disgusting drinking. Actually, I'm going to do it right next to it so everybody hears it. Oh, now I'm going to do it away. Oh, that was delicious, everybody. If you've been watching this long without agua, please drink, friends. We are 75% or more. Dang, we need to hit the uh, old sand wedger. There we go. Yes. Okay. Let's do it. We're going to do it. Let's do it. Perfect. Zephyrius. That'd be a good YouTube name. Yes. A lot of blowing jokes. I wish I hit it like oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. We made par again. We're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. Stroke play, baby. Okay, we're doing pretty well. Five miles an hour. Let's do three three wood. Okay. And I think if we hit just on the right part of the power little notch, we will do a fine with the three wood. Let's hope. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. Yes! Right on the green. Right on the green. Did you guys see that, ladies and gentlemen? I just hit that on the green. Which probably would never happen again, but... Probably would. Possibly. Yes. Now the putting. The best, my best part. The master of work. Let's line it up. Caddyshack, who loves Caddyshack? All right, let me actually concentrate here. We oh, oh gosh, we missed it. Par, par, we did it. We channeled our inner Chevy Chase, and we we made it. I love it. All right, caddy, what are we doing now? Wind, 14 miles an hour, sir. Northeast. What are we going to do? This one, oh, no way we could smack it that far. And look how narrow that green is. No way. But we're going to do it anyways. Watch this. We got to utilize the slice, ladies and gentlemen. And we did. We made it. Pow. Every shot. Perfect. 14 miles an hour. We're going to reduce the club length down. One, one iron. Three iron. Oh, God. It's 14 miles an hour. It's tense. What are we going to do? 14. Let's do this. Perfect shot, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Perfect shot. Mm. 
That was not a perfect shot, ladies and gentlemen. I'm human. Why the hell are you believing me? All right. Let's do it actually five. Now let me concentrate here. Here we go. I need, I need, I really need to concentrate here. Let me see. That's not actually, that's actually a pretty good shot because the sand wedge is going to kick it right up to the hole. To the old hole. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. I'm 36 years old. I don't know why I'm laughing at that. And that's actually very sad. No, actually, is it sad that I'm laughing at that? Nah, who knows? Who knows? I'm just glad I'm alive after the accident, the radioactive accident that we might not, that we might talk about later. Oh, it was, it was horrible. My dad was a professional boxer. I'm not going to mention his name because I don't want you guys to look him up and know more of my information. But anyways, he was a professional boxer. We need to get the the old the old putter. By the way, my putter is the old hockey stick that I made into a a putter. That's actually Adam Sandler. If you guys please go watch Adam Sandler and Happy Gilmer. Please go watch it. All right, we're on the green. We lined ourselves up for the go. All right, my dad. He was a professional boxer. He was pretty good too. And he was making his way up through the ranks. Oh, I can't believe I went way past the what the fuck. But he wasn't get the, the bills paid. And so he kind of made... This was back in the day, too. We're talking back in the 80s. My dad was from another time, you know. Oh, I can't believe I fucking missed it. Sorry for cussing. But anyways, he kind of went with the mob there for a while. And... uh he started like he was like the collector, the enforcer. Okay, let's get this. There we go. They gave me no name on that. <laughs> and he was just, he was just, he did that for multiple years. Come to find out, like he never he didn't tell me this. I I found out from people later on. I found out the story. But actually, one day I saw him collecting. I was a young teenage boy. I saw him collecting. From, it was like a it was like a supermarket and he was like beating up people he's like give me the money and I, and then I and then I saw him like run out and then I didn't know it was him he's wearing a mask and like he runs down this alleyway like and he runs and then uh, and then I saw him and then uh, he takes off his mask for some reason I saw it, and I was like oh, that's my dad that's my dad and I started crying and I ran away and then I yeah, I never saw my dad after that night, by the way. It was a very sad story. That might have been the, the, the night of my radioactive accident, too, by the way. Which we'll talk about later. How's everybody doing, by the way? <laughs> you guys you guys like golf? Golf is one of those games that, you know, it takes a special person to love. God bless them. Wind. Five that was a, a like five minutes in non golf for for a golf live stream. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I do that sometimes. I ramble. Three. Here we go. Yeah, that sounds good, doesn't it? No, actually, let's let's. Oh yeah, one. Let's do the one. Here we go. Perfecto. That's gonna daredevil. Hey, you, hey. Folk Raven Bear knew. Dude, that was the Daredevil story. I probably messed it all up. Folk Raven Bear, you are awesome, man. You oh my god. You know why I said that? Because I just went to Goodwill the uh it was like two days ago and I scored a, a VHS. And the VHS was from two thousand two and it's Daredevil vs. Spider Man and it has like, I don't know, six uh cartoons. <laughs> from the Spider-Man animated series, and I think uh, one of them is from like the uh, Fantastic Four or something. But it's like the back; it has the backstory of the Daredevil, man. And I was watching it, dude. I was enthralled, dude, enthralled with Daredevil's story. I was like, man, Daredevil's pretty badass, dude. <laughs> yeah, man, it was cool. It was a cool VHS. Check it out. By the way, man, you get you get some street cred for that, Folk Raven Bear, for sure. <laughs> I know I missed the story, but it's a good story. 
It's a good story. And yeah, and he gets hit by that truck. And he gets like that right the right like the radioactive waste goes all over him. And it was like Kingpin. It was Kingpin's truck, man. He was like sending him through the city when he shouldn't have been. And he, cause he didn't care about nobody. Kingpin just cares about Kingpin and his money. <laughs> it's a good good story, man. Daredevil, dude. Dude, you are you are a gentleman and a scholar. Power wedge. Do you think a power wedge gave me over there? Let's do, let's just do a nine. Here we go. Cut out. Perfecto. The accident caused him to go blind. Also created the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> oh crap! Did it really? Did they tie that those two together? I know you, you're probably telling the truth right now, and that's this crazy. I, I you're probably right, man. That is so crazy. They they tied the two together because I love the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I never really looked into the lore of the Ninja Turtles too much. You know, of course, I know from watching the Ninja Turtles, you know, about like the, the sewage coming down and all that crap. Here we are. What, what, uh, no, what? That's crazy. That's crazy, Tuck. That's funny. Yes, wow. Folk Radio Mayor says yes. So, once to repeat, in this case, whoever's listening here, the accident that caused. Daredevil to go blind also created the Ninja Turtles. So it was the radio, it was the truck turning on its side in like an intersection because Daredevil, like, well, he wasn't Daredevil yet, but like the man that becomes Daredevil or the boy, teenage boy, that's like running out there, turns on its side, radioactive waste goes everywhere, gets in his eyes, he's like, ah, you know, like whatever. It goes down the, the drain. Oh, wow, that's so crazy. And Splinter. And Splinter. That is crazy. Man, that is so crazy. That is, that is awesome. I gotta look more into that. Hey, Folk Raven Mary, do you know anything about the swamp thing? Do you like the swamp thing? Cause it, and Folk Raven Mary says, because it's a different universe, but Frank Miller's Daredevil has a big impact on Team and T. Example: Daredevil fights the hand, turtles fight the foot. Interesting. Interesting. That's pretty good lore. I'm I like that. I, yeah, I'm definitely gonna gonna dig into the the radioactive lore. See what's going on there. All right, we're back to the golf, right? <laughs> golf. We we it's so luxurious. We can just talk, talk about lore, and golf at the same time. And if you're just tuning in, I just like I love video game history. So I like to just to say you're watching Nintendo golf. From the Nintendo, original Nintendo Entertainment System, and this this game is came out in nineteen eighty four, ladies and gentlemen. I came out in nineteen eighty two. It's an old ass game, man. Not that old. I'm not that old. I'm only thirty six. Not that old. Are we gonna hit this ball or what? You're asking. I'm building the tension for your information. Get off my back. Perfect. That's why I said, give me a break. Because if you give me a break, magic happens. All right, this is a night of magic tonight, ladies and gentlemen, by the way. So if you're a magical person, you come to the right place. All right, let's do another nine iron. All right, smack it. Let's give it the old smack. That's what they used to call it back like 100 years ago. They'd be like, go, go smack the ball. You need to go sm I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. All right. Here we go. We're going to do a good good putt. Oh, and that was way too far. Somehow I did some steroids between the last hole there. All right. And this is a long game, too, by the way. This is like a full-on endurance golf game. Let's do a half. There we go. All right, we're, uh, sh shit, I totally spaced out on the, let, let's just sync this real fucking quick. Sorry for cussing there. Ka -da -da! Perfect, double bogey. Sorry, I don't want clapping in the microphone. Hey, good day. Hey. All right, I'm a hardcore Swamp Thing fan, but stay away from that awful Ness game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Hey, for, I'm sorry, I don't want to yell in the microphone there. Hey, folk Raven Bear, do you want to hear an interesting story, bro? Here, bro. 
this is uh because i've been uh ebaying for like i don't know maybe like four years now it seems i don't know for a while but i, I was on the ebay one time and uh uh, somebody was selling a it was a it was a complete in box swamp thing for the for the ness uh and i i uh all he was auctioning it and he was like a new seller i don't know what the deal was but i bid and i ended up getting it for like a hundred bucks a hundred bucks and he shipped it out to me for like a hundred bucks and i got a close in the box and it actually uh went for much more than that just the cartridge itself went for like maybe like 115 at the time um and uh i ended up uh selling it for like 200 and something dollars and uh more more than doubled my money it was awesome and you can do stuff like that on ebay people do stuff like that on ebay all the time you, you just have to know a little inf information and get lucky sometimes yeah it was crazy man it was crazy i've done stuff like that before man it, it was it's ridiculous and people do i'm telling you people do stuff like that it's crazy. It's crazy. It's out there. It's in the digital realm. It's crazy. All right. Three iron. Let's look. Oh, we got wind working in our favor. The old Zephyrus is working in our favor. Thank you, Zephyrus. I don't know. That's uh, where we go. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Mumbling. Six. No, I think. Six iron, huh? Oh, this is this is gonna be, this is a tough one because it's so close. <sighs> That's not too bad. I sold my copy years ago as a, as well. It just wasn't worth having. Yeah, yeah, I know all about the game, and um, I, I played a little bit like emulating, and it, it's not not too great. Hey, you know something cool though. Um, I I have read uh, some of the uh, Swamp Thing on um, like uh, on my tablet. I used to have like this Amazon tablet, and I read read a bunch of them. I actually liked it. I actually got all of them, uh, like the anthology or whatever of Swamp Thing, the original series. I got every single one, like in an anthology. Man, I'm gonna read through it. It's on my to do list, bro, bro, my bearded bro. All right. Which one should we do here? Oof. Let's do this. The sand one is actually pretty good here. Too far. Damn it. Always too far. What? When I get in talking mode, man. <laughs> here we go. Kapow. That was a good one, though. We're going to get like a double bogey, probably. The old double bogster. Now we got the bogey. The Alan Moore run is unreal. Dude, yeah, let me go check out... I'll be right back. Actually, you might be able to see where I'm going. I'll be right back, friend. Oh, shit. Ah. Ah. Stiff, man. I'm running right before this. Let me see here. Dude. Yeah, this is a uh, number... Book number two. Here. This is what we got. Sorry, I'm kind of moving around a lot. There we go. Alan Moore. Swamp Thing. There it is. Yeah, I got, I got the whole... The whole damn thing. Yeah, and this is all color. This is all color. There's uh, there's six of them total. I got all I got all six, man. I'm so I'm so blessed. I'm not joking, man. Swamp Thing. I remember watching the movie when I was younger, and for some reason I know the movie's kind of cheesy, but <laughs> not kind of. It is cheesy, but I remember liking it. Yeah, man. I you know I, I'm not really a big comic book guy, but uh, for some reason that character really like resonates with me. Maybe his very disgusting appearance. I don't really know. But it's just something about the swampiness. And I'm like a, I'm kind of like a nature dude. I feel like I like draw power from it, you know? Like I'll, I'll put little twigs or feathers in my hair sometimes. I'm 
sorry there. That was a little, that was a, a deviation from the game there. All right, we're back. We're back to the golf. Oh, man, these get so hard. No golf problems. Movie was low budget, but it did a good job. Yeah, you know, I, to be honest, I haven't watched it for, for many years. I'll have to go back and check it out. So seven. Let's try uh, seven. Damn it. Not good. Not good. Maybe, should we, can we make it with a one? My surprise you to know that I'm a nature dude too. Oh, I figured that by your walks. Which is cool. Man, yeah, maybe that's what, uh, you know, we, I know we haven't talked about nature or anything. We don't, we, we really haven't uh, talked and we haven't even talked in person, but uh, maybe that's why we're like cool, cool with each other, man. You know, like, uh, cause, oh, I spent a lot of time out, out in the woods. I've done a lot of long distance backpacking on the Pacific Crest Trail. Um, and th this was, uh, before it, it just kind of recently, like in the last, like, I don't know, five, six years, it got really popular, the Pacific Crest Trail, but I did it before then. I, I was doing it like back in like 2005 I started and I, I hiked like every year for like seven years. <laughs> I was just doing different sections on it. And then, uh, yeah, I've hiked a little bit on the Continental Divide uh, Trail through uh, New Mexico and Colorado. Here we go. Let's just smack it. Smack it as the Scottish say. We made it. This message was held for review. What the hell? We need to do a Skype call and just shoot the shit. Yes. Yeah, man. Hey, I you know, like, you know, this is just like a hobby channel. And, uh, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm, dude, I would love to do just any, anything to just make a video. I'm pretty much down with, dude. Like, any videos. Any videos. Long, you know, um... I usually don't, I really haven't done any editing on videos, though. I just recently downloaded, after seeing your video, I downloaded an editor, and then I just have to learn how to use it, and then I, I plan on maybe sometime down in the future, like, editing an actual video, which I, I know is tough. Now you know what I'm doing right now. Here we go. Back to the game, folks. See, I'm bullshitting way too much here. Let's go here. Power wedge. Let's do the old power wedge. Hopefully. And we made it. Almost made it. Now let's do the old putter. The old putterino. Let's do it. Happy. Are you too good for your home? Send the ball to its home. Go to your home ball. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Here we go. Perfect. Double bogey. Not bad. Not bad. We're in the game, folks. We're in the game. Stroke play. All right. Oh, this is this is a, a tough one. Okay, we'll slice it to the left. We're going to have to slice it hardcore to the left, folks. Hardcore. <laughs> Oh, that was so close. Get out of here. That's why I like this game. It's all about the slicing. Um, it makes it fun. Sometimes simpl simplicity is often fun. Uh, five, six. Um, yeah. Perfect. Okay, Folk Raven Mesh says, I use Sony, Sony Vegas for anything where I'm on a camera, but for the gameplay, I just use Windows Movie Maker. I can do my narration while watching the gameplay easier that way. Oh, I see. Yeah, I just use uh, everything that you see, I just use through the uh, the OBS. I use that OBS studio. I've actually used uh, different, I don't know. So all the stuff I do, I do through there. Then I export that as a video file and edit into the rest of the video in Vegas. Works well for me. Cool, yeah. I don't have that program. I already downloaded another one. Um, I'm gonna give it to like a. It was, it was recommended, uh, you know, high as like a free program. So I'm gonna check that one out. 
because I'm not trying to do like really hardcore editing, but yeah, I would like to do some some editing here pretty soon. You know, just within uh, not this weekend, but ne- the weekend after that, I'm going uh, I, attempting to hike up the top of Mount Shasta. I've already been uh, to the top of it uh, twice in the last couple years. Every year I've been going up there for the last few years, and uh, yeah, I'm going to do it again this year. And uh, yeah, my, I, I might try to sh- uh, shoot just a little bit of video footage. To be honest, you know, I get so tired doing it. It's a it's a tough hike. Um, <laughs> I don't shoot a lot of footage, but I'll try to shoot just a little footage, man. A little surprise at the top for everybody. Make a video out of that. But all right, let's try to finish up this game. Lightworks is pretty good, but you have to be online for it. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. All right, what's uh? Oh, we're gonna drill this one. Here we go. Crap. Hey, hey, folk, Raven Bear. I said, I know, I said I was gonna try to work on your your audio recording tonight, man. But bro, it's getting late, and I probably won't be able to do it, man. I'm getting tired, tired. But I will get it done tomorrow for you for sure. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I'll message you later on Twitter for like an email that I that I can send the audio clips to. And so I'll send like a couple audio clips of each line. And so uh, I'll do that for you for sure tomorrow. I'll get that done though. Old Bob needs his needs his sleep eventually. Yeah, Mount Shasta is beautiful. I'll be in the woods for the summer solstice, and I plan to film a little bit, but it won't be much. That's more of a meditation trip. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, dude, the woods. Spend a lot of time there. I know what you mean, wood bro. Yeah, good. Well, good. Yeah, I didn't know if you're like on a schedule or anything. I just wanna, you know, be nice. And let keep you in the loop, dude. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Did you guys see that? It literally almost went in the hole. Ow, baby. Shoot him. Shoot him, McGavin. Dude, shoot him, McGavin was a fuck. He was a cold dude. He actually bought Happy Gilmore's grandma's house. Man, he was gonna he was gonna burn it down and piss in the ashes. Remember that? <laughs> Remember that shit? Remember that? Dude, shoot her. Dude, he was hardcore villain, man. We gotta unlock this, and the wind is not in our dang favor. The furious, you s o b. Oh, and luckily, <laughs> yes. Yes, luck is on our side. Folk Ravenberry responds, I want to do some bushcraft videos, but I really need something like a GoPro for that. You know, yeah, you should check out some eBay crap, man. Like on Ch- those Chinese be be selling those. Or like on those Amazon flash deals. You can get like imitation GoPros for like 50, 60 bucks. Or you, you can buy like a little uh, a holder for your smartphone. And you can just use it as a GoPro. Bro? You can use it as a GoPro, or just make it. Yeah, make like a headband and like psh, put your phone in there, and you got a, you got a GoPro, bro. You got the GoPro, bro. Three wood, let's do it. We're rocking the three, rocking the three wood. Dang, that was that wasn't too bad, I guess. Rocking the three, the three wood, ah, uh, the three wood. Yo, what should should we put it? Yeah, let's put it. Pow, pow! That was a good one. That was good. Here we are. All oh, sweet success. I, I taste thee. Watch this. Watch this. You want to see? You want to see something? Watch this. Shoot out. Yeah, that's pretty good. That was pretty good. We're doing all right. Folk Raven Bear responds. Would love to get some footage of when me and Thor go kayaking. Dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, make sure you're safe about getting that footage, though. I actually knew a dude in college. All right, wind is uh, going in the west, 13 miles an hour. So we're going to have to slice it to the right. But I knew a get guy in college, and he wasn't actually. We didn't slice it enough. He was like a a very. He wasn't like a master kayaker, but he was a very high level kayaker, and he was at like a seminar or something. 
He was he was literally at a seminar. A kayaking seminar. And he was like going to finish. Damn, I can't. He was going to finish and he flips like upside down and literally is like drowning. And everybody thought he was like joking around or something. And he almost died at the kayaking seminar. Just to illustrate how damn dangerous kayaking can be, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're kayaking this summer, please, please don't drink and kayak for God's sakes. And don't, don't YouTube and kayak either. Because there is lots of statistics about YouTube and kayaking and they're not good, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's pay attention here and actually smack this son of a bitch out of here. All right, we're going to have to do some major slicing. Kapow! There we got it. We got it! We loved it. Yeah. All right, one. What do we got here? Yeah. That, that guy was, uh, I forget his name, man. What was his name? He was a pretty cool guy. He he, he taught like um, like a nature, I, I took like a nature writing course. But we didn't really write that, write too much. We kept like a, uh, kind of like a journal, though, we, on, our, on our readings. You know, we, we did a lot of uh, nature readings, which was good. Like Thoreau and just like all those kind of classic kind of nature writers. All right, the, the wind is killing us. The furious is killing us here, Faux Graven Bear. He's killing us. That son of a bitch. We're going to have to really just whack it. Wow, that was way too much. Yeah, dang it. This this hole is killing me. Damn it. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, we're just not going to do the, the one wood. You know, sometimes this happens. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> and this is how it all unravels. Crap. Wish I okay, let's just uh let's salvage what we what we can. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then Let's do a little power wedge. And let's, uh, okay, yeah, 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 perfect. Perfect, on the green. I need to come your way so we can hit the Redwood Trail. Dude, the Redwood Trail, yeah, and um, I think there's a Redwood Trail in Southern Oregon. Yeah, right on the coast right there. And then I'm sure there's tons of them in uh, Northern California. I don't really spend too much time in uh, Northern California coast. But yeah, I just got back from the Oregon coast, man. It was freaking awesome. Yeah, actually, uh, I have a pass. like, uh, and, and so I get free camping in state parks, Oregon state parks. It, it just cost me like $7 for a reservation fee. And so I, I made like, uh, I think, six or seven reservations at the Oregon coast for this summer. And so we just went to our first uh, trip. And so, yeah, we just got periodic trips, and I don't know, that's kind of cool. Anyways. Oh, I hit it way too hard. Damn it, here we go. Enough about me. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, damn it. This is... This hole literally knocked us out of contention right here. Yeah, hey, folk, Raven Bear, since I got you on here, bro, go to Astoria and see that you do the story. Uh, okay, so that was the end. That was the end. We got uh, plus 28. That was that was the record. Not bad. Plus 28. That was the game. <laughs> Not a fancy ending. Yeah, go to Astoria and see the Goonies house. Good times await us. Dude, that would be fun. I hope the sloth don't find us, huh? Sloth! Sloth! I can't do a sloth imitation. Yeah, I'm going up, actually. We're actually going up there, I think, later this, um... Uh... Later, I, my, my wife's... Sometime this summer, I think. My wife's dad is having, uh... He's getting, like, remarried or something. 
And uh, we might go to the coast for a day or something. I don't know. I don't know. Well, okay, so Folk Raven Bear says, We have a state forest in northern Wisconsin where you can just go and set up camp. No reservations needed. It's great. That's, that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I mean, you can always go to any uh, state forest as uh, long as it's not in a campground. You can't just go to a campground and set up camp. But you can, you can uh, any national forest, like any national forest you can camp. Any state forest you can camp. You just camp anywhere. You, I think you, you can like camp for like 10, 12 days. Yeah, you don't need permits or anything. You just go camp. Yep. And this, yeah, actually, it worked for the uh, Bureau of Land Management for uh one season and i worked for the uh forest service for a few seasons and uh yeah it, it was all right it was all right forest service was pretty sweet what the okay so that was let's load up let's play open open room oh crap this is probably showing too much and we're gonna load volleyball <laughs> oh and so, okay, so this is 1986. And this, that's not kind of loud, huh? Let's turn it down a little bit. There it goes. Sorry about that, folks. So this is also, also a black box game. 1986, volleyball. Shall we? Shall we play training? Let's play a game. Uh oh. And so I know this. I know the women are a little easier than the men. The men are. It's like, that's like hard mode. And I haven't played this game for a while. So I'm going to stick with women. Beep. USA versus Japan. You know, not a lot of people talk about this game. I think it's pretty good, though. Aoi. Aoi. Here we go. Blasting it. Ow! That's one point for us. Hey, Folk Raven Bear, what do you know about, about Nest Black Box Volleyball? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, crap. That was a good one. That was a good one, Japan. Oh, crap. We had such a good start. In your face. Oh, crap. That was a good one. <laughs> no stop on that. Oh, stuffed. They're good. I'm a little out of practice. That was a good one. You never played volleyball? Good God, my friend. It's actually very good. This and Ness ice, ice Hockey are excellent games. Ice Hockey is better than this game, but this game is, is very good. Because it's boiled down to just the basics. I could, th these Japanese are unstoppable. Too bad they weren't this way in World War II, huh? <laughs> We smoked him in World War II. My grandpa was uh, in the Navy, by the way. Oh, get out of here. We're getting routed. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, again. <laughs> now it is now it's just embarrassing. So I started off and people probably thought I was good. They're like, man, this guy's kind of good. Yes, we stopped him. Finally. All right, this is where we all come back. Hey, out there. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I was also in the Navy. I was in the Navy for four years. Oh, I act that wow, I actually hit that back. Here we go. Whoop. Oh, yes, yes. That was a good one. Yeah, I think I'm going to make some YouTube videos one of these days on uh, with some of my Navy stories. 
Some of my funny... I only have funny Navy stories. Yes, I smacked it back at him. Here we go. Oh, dang it. I forgot this game is long. <laughs> I'm going to get a long beating. Oh, smacked it back at up. I ended up being an E4. I started as an E1. I worked all my, my way all the way up to E4. As a whole technician, that was my rating. So it was like a like a welder plumber kind of guy. Dang. But you know, you did a lot of janitorial work though. Here we go. Oddly enough, I worked on a marine base. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, crap. That was a good volley, though. I worked on a marine base for about two years. And of that two years, I ended up mowing grass for like six months. It was awesome. That was one. That's one of the stories I'll talk about later. Here we go. Here we go. Oh crap! We're getting spanked by the Japanese. I was on a ship for a year. I was on the USS Nimitz, which is a CVN sixty-eight, which is a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. And then I went to some schooling. And then from the schooling, I I that's when I went to the Marine base. Where I uh, worked on a, like a, it was like a hovercraft. Like a little hovercraft detachment, you could say. And I just like worked on hovercraft and mowed grasses. Man, we are getting spanked. I can't believe I got that one point though. God bless us for giving us another one point. This is why we need to play another player. Because they are just too good. I was with the Marines for two years, and, they, and then I did some base work in Bremerton. Oh, wow. I didn't realize. That's so cool, man. Good for you, dude. Good for you. Yeah. Well, it's Admiral, Admiral Nimitz. Five-star Admiral. The first and only five-star Admiral. Yeah, it's a pretty old ship, too. You know, a lot of those old ships are actually, you know, 50 years old. Plus. Yeah, I, I got to actually walk on the uh, the USS Reagan. I walked on there and just kind of like walked around with a, a buddy. And that, was, it, it, that one is a nuclear aircraft carrier as well. But it was a lot cleaner, you know. It was nice in there. And they had different hot sauces in their cafeteria. Damn it. This game. I should have practiced. This game is tough, though. You gotta you gotta come with your A game. Because if you don't, you're gonna get smashed. Okay, okay. Boom. Whoa! So, Folk Raven Mary says, so collab video where we swap sea stories. <laughs> yeah. Where we swap semens. I mean, sea stories. <laughs> oh, jeez, Louise. All right. J that's enough of Japan spanking my butt. I'm just going to throw another game on there real quick. What should we play? And then, uh, then I'll probably call it a night. But but let's throw another game on there. I'm just going to kind of walk around real quick. I already got some. I, you know, I like that one video that you mentioned. You know, I'm... I was going to say, hey, man, I would like to maybe make that video because uh, it would be a, qu a quick one. It's like videos I remember uh, beating as a kid. Because I think the first one I remember beating was Chippendale Rescue Rangers. I could do like a video on that. That would be pretty good. You know, yeah, if you wanted, you could talk about it too, you know. Man, if, even if you want to put it on your channel, that's cool. I, you know, I could uh, send that story over to you and you could like edit it together with yours if you wanted. Just, uh, yeah, something like that. That would be cool, man. Something like that. It'd be easy to do. Let's just do... 
1943 since it's right here and we'll play that real quick dude -do. oh snap let's do uh defensive yes oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah looking good oh, my foot fell asleep dang it Oh, that was a special weapon, of course. All right, here we go. Hey, isn't that funny? Isn't I didn't mean to do this, folks. We just got our ass kicked by the Japanese, and here we are, fighting the Japanese once again. Oh, you dang Japanese! I love Japanese, but those Japanese back then—they wanted to kill us. Uh, I know it wasn't the common folk. It was the military. I'm just kind of joking around. Oh, shotgun. Oh, that's a good one. Eat it. Bremerton, Washington. Yeah, my grandpa just moved up to Washington uh, a couple months ago. He lived in Ventura, California for the longest time. Whoa, yeah, there we go. But he lives in Discovery Bay? Or something like that? It's like northern Washington. It's like... I gotta go check him out. He's getting pretty old, too. 83 or 84. He's old. He flies around, travels. I think he just went to New Orleans for his birthday. The guy's always traveling around. Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of that. Uh-oh, visual contact. We're going in, folks. I forgot I got that special weapon, too. We're going to save it. Oh, yeah, we're going to use it. Oh. Oh, we got hit. We got hit. What was that? P.O.W. P.O.W. Let's just stay away from this crap. Ah! 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 We're doing all right. Much better than volleyball. You know, I don't really like this music, though. I'll tell you that much. Oh, Jesus. Well we, well, we got smoked. Let's play another game. Screw it. Let's play another game real quick. Yeah, okay. What well, we got? Folk Raven Bear says, I'll do all the editing if you want, but uh, I say we put the first game you beat vid on your channel and the canceled game vid on mine so we can cross. Hey, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Wh whatever. Yeah, that's cool, bro. Like, uh, you know, I'm, like, like I'm saying, I'm just trying to have fun. So that's cool. That sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So uh, yeah. You, you can just do your half and shoot it over to mine, and then uh, we'll try to promote it a little bit more. You know, I only get so many. I don't. Really, I don't really get tons of views on my my channel. You know, folk Raven Bear though. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't know if you know. I had one video though that got that gets like it got like eleven thousand views, and it keeps it gets like views all the time. It slowed down on views, but yeah, I made it kind of like just I was like a, a I was just joking around. I made it like right before I went to bed, <laughs> but it's so funny. I don't even want to mention it, but yeah, it's funny. It talk I talk about uh, R. Kelly <laughs> and his sex video. I saw it like a long time ago, and I just I just like talk about it at what I remember, and uh, yeah, it got like eleven thousand views, man. Somehow I got picked up in the algorithm, man. I was like. That's my that's my own that my biggest video, which is pretty funny. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was gonna I was gonna pick one more game, just a quick one here. Open or open the realm. What are we gonna do? I know, balloon fight. Let's stick with the the black box theme, other than 1943. All right. Right here. What the hell? Beetlejuice. That sounds like a good one. All right. Uh, what the? What the? 
What game did I just say anyways? <laughs> oh, yeah. Balloon. Balloon. Where are you? I just saw you. I don't see it. What the heck? My eyes deceiving me. There it is. Nope. Balloon fight. Got it. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, folk grab a mirror. I don't get many views either. I fall out. I don't, I don't worry. I have fun making them. I can film my segments after work. I got to render and upload my next video anyway. Popeye, because we're both sailors. Yeah, dude. Popeye is actually a really good game. That's like one of my uh, favorite arcade games is Popeye. And it's a real good game. And also, I like Popeye. Uh, yeah, a lot of people don't know, but for a while, Popeye was the most popular character. He's more popular than Mickey Mouse. It was a short while, but that was way back in the day. But his game is, uh, I remember playing on, on the on the NES when I was a kid. We had that. I still got the original one that we had over there. And yeah, it is a good, it's a good game. It, it's a good game. Ma. So let's just do a, a balloon trip real quick, huh? And then <laughs> this one's tough. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, Ew. Yeah, Folk Raven Bear, I think to like have a lot of viewers on YouTube. For one, like video gaming is uh, a very saturated market. You have something kind of uh distinct though is like you're a viking youtuber and so that that's that probably works in your favor and you have uh serious magic capabilities you're like your magic is like as like a nine right now and so that probably works um but yeah it's you you pretty much gotta upload videos like almost every day i think for the algorithm to start sending people your way uh, and you gotta have a lot of like interaction with your videos, and it's a lot of crap, man. You know, it's funny. Like way back in 2007, I didn't even really know what YouTube was. I just thought it was somewhere where you could just uh, upload your videos uh, so you could share with your friends. I didn't realize everybody in the world could see them. And I remember I uploaded just like some random video of me and my buddy uh, rafting, and I was just like, "Hey, this is Jake the Snake on the Rogue River," <laughs> and it was just like a little like. 30 second clip of, of Jake and then it was like the Rogue River Rapids or ah but uh alright I'm gonna do the actual arcade one actually and uh I remember uh, I looked back like a couple years at it it's not even there no more I cannot find it I think YouTube deleted it cause it was way back 2007 but um it had like a hundred and something views on it and I was just like I mean, it even had comments on it like and I've, I've heard people say like YouTube back in the day, you know, it doesn't, didn't matter. Like, they, you know, it was suggesting just everybody's videos. Um, but now it's just like, uh, you know, when you upload a video, it's it's like they only have the switch turned on for just like, you know, like a day or two. People will see it and then like they turn the switch off. On most videos, some videos, you, you know, you'll keep getting uh, people, you know, trickling in. Oh, Folk Raven Bear says, I do like making my game videos, but I try to keep it fresh. I got screwed with my Mickey Mouse vids. I made them, and they were the uh, like the only video of Land and Legend of Illusion. Oh. I'll have to go check those out. I don't think I uh, saw your Mickey Mouse videos. Um, yeah. Word. Word. Let's, let's uh, yeah, that's what I was going to do. Okay, here we go. Boosh. 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 There we go. That's how you do it. Then the 90th anniversary of the character happened a week later and everyone was doing Land of Illusion as this forgotten Mickey game and my video got buried in the algorithm. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It does it. Oh, crap. You know, I played this game not too long ago, and I was doing awesome at it. Yeah, he just kicked and killed me. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'll definitely check out that. You know, uh, yeah, since we're on the subject of your videos, Folk Raven Bear, dude, seriously, like your last uh, 
videos that you put some editing in where you were walking around the the dunes like those were good man i, I like the the music you put in and uh you know you had a lot of angles of you walking what do they call it like beat b-roll or whatever i don't know what they call it man i usually do so much better than this <laughs> i'm not fan. But yeah, those were good. Those were entertaining. You know, I think you would have a lot more thumbs up and this people watching them if YouTube would just tell people about them, you know. But that's the thing that they don't. So it is what it is. But over time, you know, who knows? Who knows what will happen? Oh, we need to get these little punks. Oh, feel bad for that guy. We all been there, bro. Oh, this guy trying to get my balloon. <laughs> yeah, it was good, dude. Yeah, well, you, you put some uh, some editing. It was definitely entertaining. It was great, man. All right, what do we got? So, crap, I've been... All right, so, I've been streaming for an hour and 20 minutes of my life. And that's probably enough. And, hey, Folk Raven Bear, dude, hey, bro, thanks for chilling out with me, man. Broski. Broski. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anytime, anytime you want to hang out, uh, Folk Raven Bear, I'm here for you. You know, I know we're busy dudes. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll shoot that over to you, that, uh, that message tomorrow uh, whenever I'm done. Uh, it shouldn't take that long to record some audio clips for you. I just after this though, I think I'm gonna go smoke some more of that uh, that uh, wizard tobacco and probably go to sleep. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. And to everybody else, if you're watching this uh, post live stream, thank you so much for uh, for watching. You know, if you've been this long, uh, I got this awesome subscriber, Kit Can. Once again, you know, if you're watching this, Kit Can, thanks so much, bro. Uh, Folk Raven Bear, love your streams, man. They're nice and relaxing. Hey, I'm glad they're. I'm glad there's something. <laughs> I'm glad there's something. And thanks for being here. Your presence is appreciated so much, and everybody else's uh, presence is appreciated as well. Uh, if you have, anybody has any comments, uh, feel free to leave a comment, and I will thoughtfully comment back to you. And uh, feel free to th uh, thumbs up if you like, thumbs down whatever it's all interaction by the way it doesn't matter so all right everybody uh blessings all around stay positive spread the positivity throughout the universe that is our mission everybody <laughs> yeah full graven bear bro uh i'll talk to you real soon uh i i you're like my twitter buddy man i i, I love uh love chatting with you anyways yeah and real quick folk folk raven bear check them out youtube and twitter Everybody else, good night. Till next time. You gotta find the off button now. This is always the awkward part. Till next time.